What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, guys, let's talk about SPS and a lot of the changes that have been happening with the liquidity pools. So there were several proposals that were put into the mix. And actually, let me go ahead and see if I can bring those up for you guys. Uh, several proposals that were put into the mix. Some have already been implemented. Some are still in proposal stage, but they are all aimed at reducing the amount of inflation we have for our LPs, our LP rewards. So if I go here to the complete, you can see that the last two that were done were to stop paying the DEC die LP as well as reducing the voucher pool adjustments. Now, each of these reduced our inflation by 400,000 SPS per month. Now, when we come to the one that are currently active, you are going to see here that uh, we have one for SPS B and B, which I believe is going to take things down. I, this is the big one. I believe this is going to take things down potentially like six hundred thousand. It's going to reduce it by like 65, 65 million, or sorry, sixty five percent or something like that, which is very very significant. The SPS E though, which and these two are are similar, right? This is being reduced from 1.1 million down to 1 million, uh, which is why I'm, I'm assuming this is going to be about 600,000 because it said a 65% decrease. And then we also have another one here for another 200,000 that will be that will be removed. Now, all of these are currently passing, as you can tell. And yes, I am voting against them. I have my reasons. I'm not going to get into it here. Um, and, and here's the thing. I'm assuming that they're going to pass just because this is what the community has deemed that they want. Uh, but overall, we can look at what the benefit benefits will be, even though, I, even though I'm against it, I, I can look in what, and see what the benefits will be. So when it comes down to it, we already know that there's 400,000 per month that's getting removed. I would say it's safe to bet that, you know, the ETH one is going to pass. That's another 100,000. And then you have the uh, DEC, uh, DEC one here as well. That's another 200,000. So we're, we're well over half a million at this point. In fact, if you were to include 600,000 from here, we'd be anywhere between like 700,000 to 1.3 million per month right? So that's not insignificant. But I do want to share with you the context for this. Uh, so if we go back to the white paper, which is what I had pulled up here earlier, you will see overall, we are reducing by 1.3 million per month. But we have, you know, if you add all of these up, this is 37.5 million per month. Granted, some of them are not as high now because it has been reducing or a lot of these do reduce by 1% per month. But when you consider how small of a drop in the bucket this is, uh, compared to everything else, uh, again, it, this is just to put things into perspective. What I'm not trying to get people to vote against it by saying it's not effective. I mean, it is effective because any kind of inflation reduction will help. Like I said, this isn't this isn't some weird like oh I'm trying to get you guys to vote against it. No, you vote however you feel. I'm voting against it, right? Uh, but the the main thing that we're looking at here is the fact that there's just I mean. We're going to reduce it by potentially 1.3 million, but there's still another 30 million SPS that's being given out per month in uh, across all of these different uh, across all these different avenues. Now, one of the good things about this, uh, and, and I, I do believe that this is a good thing because I made a video saying a while back that every SPS that is rewarded should come staked. Right, I, that it just seemed like that was the best way to do it because the ranked battles come staked, the LP, or sorry, uh, ranked battles, land expansion, validator nodes, and guild brawls, all that stuff comes staked. Right, SPS staking rewards, the LP incentives, and the SPS validator node rewards. Uh, all, sorry, the tournament prizes, all that comes unstaked, meaning it's liquid. As soon as you get it, you can spend it, you can transfer it, you can do whatever you want to do with it. So overall. I do like the fact that if we're going to reduce from somewhere, we should we should be reducing somewhere where there is uh, liquid, right? Actually, I, I don't even want to say that. It's not that we should be reducing there. If there is a reduction, it's happening in a place where the uh, the rewards are received in a liquid manner. And the reason I'm so big on this is because if people want to sell, right? If they want to sell, then they will have to be intentional about uh, unstaking. And that process is going to take four weeks. And granted, if they're if they're consistent about unstaking, then it's just a four week lag, right? Eventually, they'll they'll get out everything that they need. But again, it's just the intentionality of it, right? I don't really unstake the SPS that I have uh, because I'm just letting it sit there, right? Until I actually need it. If I had to be more thoughtful about it, I would think through, okay, how much do I want? How much do I not want to count towards voting or the upcoming potential airdrop for colony? So all of these different factors play in. And like I said, 
at the end of the day, this is this is going to be good for the ecosystem as a whole, in the sense that it is. Uh, you know, there, there's, let's just put it this way. There's numerous benefits for this, right? So we're reducing from a place where the rewards come liquid. We are also potentially replacing a lot of that liquidity with uh, funds from the DAO. So now the DAO will be able to earn from this as well. And on top of that, uh, the uh, on top of that, not only will the DAO be able to earn, but there will be more liquidity until in like the V3 uh, versions, right? So this, I, I'm not going to get into all of the the details. You can go check out the proposals. But um, at, at the end of the day, there's pros and cons. Obviously, for me, uh, like I said, I'm not going to get into it. I'm voting against it. I am I am earning in a lot of these pools, so I don't want to see them come down. I think one of the negatives could potentially be the um, could potentially be the investors kind of walking away. And I know a lot of investors who are not necessarily happy about this, but like I said, I'm trying to be objective here and show the potential benefits of this in the long run in the context of everything else. Now, this is just a small piece though, right? Keep in mind, this is just a very small piece of the inflation that's happening. And I don't really see another place in which we could take that away. I mean, Sure, SPS validator nodes, that should have never been given out, right? <laughs> like literally, that should have never been given out until the validator nodes were live. This is just unnecessary inflation of not just SPS, but also vouchers. Um, but you look at, you know, SPS staking, ranked battles, uh, people like these rewards and uh, it, they're, they're a big part of the play to earn concept. So I don't know, to me at the end of the day, this is, you know, it, hopefully it will be a net positive and we'll see where things end up moving in the future. I do like the fact that the DAO will be able to earn something from this and that we should get a lot less sell pressure if people like myself, for example, decide to move out of the, of the pools, right? Because then I'm no longer receiving the rewards. I'm not worried about the rewards and there's less rewards to sell. And I've always said this about the LPs. It's a, it's a flaw in the design of, of how this whole thing works. If I want to compound my gains, right, meaning that I'm actually bullish on the ecosystem and I want to put the money and reinvest it back into the ecosystem, I have to sell SPS, either half or all of it in order to reinvest the, the, the gains or sorry, in order to reinvest the rewards back into it. So the fact that the DAO will be taking over a lot more of that will reduce the rewards, will reduce that incentive. That should be good. Hopefully it doesn't scare away investors because I know that this is a big part of it, but you know, it is what it is. This is what the community is voting for. So we'll see how that, we'll see how things play out. But uh, that is all I have for you guys in this video. Just want to share with you some of the numbers. Otherwise, I'll catch you all or let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all in the next one and see you around the game. Take care.